What's going on people? This is Psycho, back with my comrade Josh. Again with another comic book video. If you guys didn't know, DC Unleashed their Rebirth series. Today we're going to be doing Batman. So Josh here, Red Batman, wants to dish out all the info, all the 411. If you haven't seen on any of the other Rebirth reviews that we've done, check them out after you've seen this one and after you've liked and subscribed. So let's get it started. Batman Rebirth, dude. What is it about? Like, let me know, dude. Because I know there's like the whole three Joker story. Did you dive into that or? No, not at all. <laughs> okay. They don't even touch on it. Actually, what this one follows is Calendar Man. And Who? They, I've never so heard of that guy. Basically, Calendar Man, in, Calendar Man in the past has kind of been this, uh, he's like a criminal mastermind that plans out all of his heists and all of his things based off of like dates and events and things like oh, that. Okay. Um, the interesting part in this storyline is that he has a type of spore that is that he's planning to unleash on Gotham. Okay. And it's going to be able to control the seasons. Well, mm. what's what's also interesting about it though is that when he gets captured he starts to age and when he starts to age there's actually a panel where um, he looks like he's dead on the ground as an old man okay. and then hands come out of his mouth and then he comes out of the skin and he's kind of rebirthed himself oh, really? younger uh, through a series so it's really weird <laughs> that like you know they kind of left you in DC Rebirth with the three jokers you yeah. know and you felt like that was the direction that it was going to go and then you get a revisioned version of calendar man okay. which is actually kind of cool because yeah. the thing is, is calendar man's kind of was always yeah. one of those like side nobody yeah, really cared yeah. about type villains yeah so it's going to be interesting to see where they go with this um on the batman side of things though is that uh duke um what's his name it's uh, duke thomas i believe okay um is was from we are robin and i did not follow the we are, we are robin storyline okay. so i don't know a whole lot about how that all how that all played out so he gets invited by batman to basically become his new sidekick okay. um and they're both kind of apprehensive about it hmm. because uh duke feels that he doesn't need um that he doesn't need batman that robin doesn't need batman that robin can be a standalone mm -hmm. type type crime fighter and Batman tells him well I'm not interested in making you Robin okay. and actually reveals a new suit okay. um, and takes him out on a mission with him and they do the mission together and, and it's pretty interesting I mean it's you know the thing about this storyline is that um, this was Scott Snyder and Tom King co-wrote it together and I was really interested in this because I've loved the Scott Snyder run. I mean, that's probably the most acclaimed thing to come out of the New 52. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Tom King, he wrote uh, Grayson, which is another highly yeah. acclaimed DC title, as well as the Omega Men, which was a great, I mean, unfortunately it was cut short in 12 issues, but that was a great storyline as well. So I was interested in seeing where Tom King was gonna take this story. Um, the thing was, is it kind of read like, the Scott Snyder story so okay. it, it's not a it's not poorly it, it, it's very well written the only thing is I didn't feel like I got to see Tom King's touch on it okay. so it kind of read like that um, one really cool panel though is that um, after they go on their mission where Bruce is training Duke they go out and um, they're like practicing like they're practicing like fighting okay and he does like the sidekick to the tree Okay. Well, the way that they drew the panel is exactly how the panel in the 1987 year one panel when Batman is, or when Bruce Wayne is sidekicking the tree. Okay. Um, so it's cool that they had like an actual panel that was a homage, like a throwback. Panel. This is up. Okay. Yep. So, I mean, what did you think about it? Was it what you expected? Was it a letdown or what? The problem that I had with it was that it, it wasn't what I it wasn't what I expected because, like I said, with the DC Rebirth, I felt like we were going to get right into the Joker story, and that's mm -hmm. not what we got. Um, the other thing was is that I don't feel like, I felt like it flowed well, but at the same time, I kind of felt lost. And maybe I felt lost because I didn't read We Are Robin, so I really didn't know the background of the character that was coming to become like his new protege. Okay. Um, so maybe that's why it fell flat on me. Um, but there was just something about this book that 
uh, you know, I'm going to continue to read Batman regardless because okay. it's one of my favorite universes in comics, yeah. period. But, um, you know, I don't. I, I really didn't know how I felt about it. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? it was okay. kind of strange. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't not like it, but it wasn't like it was like a grab, like a, a grabber where I was like, okay. oh shit, I can't wait for the next one. So, what would you give it out of five? What's your rating on it? I will probably go the same rating that I gave the Green Lantern Rebirth, and it will be three and a half stars. Three and a half. Yep. Okay. And the art, how's the art? Was it kind of stylized? Art is good. Art is really good. Um, you know, it's kind of a change up from the Greg Capullo style. It's okay. more back towards like the traditional um, style. It's probably closer. It's kind of like an in-betweener, but it's probably closer to like a Jason Fabok okay. type, type style of art. So it, it's good. I, I like it a lot. Nice. And the price was two ninety nine. Price was two ninety nine. Three dollars, dude. I shit three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Alright guys, you heard it from Josh. If you like Batman, pick this shit up. We just gave you the 411. Again guys, this is some psycho, Josh signing off. Like I always say, like, share, subscribe. We'll leave all the links down below for our Facebook, the Instagram, the iTunes, and check out all the other reviews that we're doing on the DC Rebirth. So, once again, guys, 